All right, we're gonna go fix some shit today. All right, we're gonna go pull the truck up, uh, get that slack adjuster off, get those shocks off at least one so I know what I'm getting, take it down and uh, see which one. Hopefully somebody has it. I'm gonna check down here the local place. Um, if not, hopefully my headlight will be in tomorrow and I'll take a trip down to St. George again and see if they got one, right? We're in our professional mechanic suit. Uh, yeah. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna, oh, and then we're gonna work on the valve body. I gotta go take the tire off of the Subi because it's got a leak and the wife is gonna take it down to Walmart, that way we don't have to pay for a mounting and dismounting and all that bullshit that stupid people charge to take off a damn tire. Like, it's five bolts, how hard is it? Well, we gotta put it on the jack, we gotta drive it, we gotta do, have, uh, what is it? Um, shop fees, right, the shop fees. So, that's what we're doing today. At least it's nice outside, right? difficult this is gonna be so these are one and one eighth right figures see if the Ryobi can hit it. see if it hits hard enough this expensive Milwaukee crap, huh? Okay, let's try the bottom one now. I don't even know where, if there's a nut on the other side or not. I can't tell. It doesn't look like there is, but I don't know. <laughs> Hurts the ears now. Bro. Oh, we might have to get the breaker bar on this one. Look at the Ryobi kicking ass. Okay. Well, I don't know what this screwed into. I guess there's a thing there. And then there's a spacer. There's a spacer that you gotta... Hell! Yeah, baby. That's one down. We got four to go, but I just need to find out the number on this bitch. Yep, there's one on there. So... Right, I'll be kicking ass, man. How about we just run it with no shocks, huh? That looks a lot smoother, slicker. Uh, so basically, I'm going to take just that off and then a slack adjuster and then take it down to see uh, if they have any local here in town. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing today. Look at this thing, completely shot. Yeah, so I gotta clean it up. Get the number off of it, and uh, we're going to go take off the um, slack adjuster. Let's go see how difficult that's so going to be. On these slack adjusters, if I remember correctly, just take out these two pins here. The brakes are released. I think I'm doing that right. Because uh, the... Yeah, we'll see. Ow. 
I think this just slides off. I changed the back ones like a year or so ago, but I had my mechanic help me, but I'm pretty sure this bitch just slides off. I, I, uh, now it could probably be easier if they would have put these on the correct way. There we go. Where you could beat it out with a hammer. But now I want to say this just slides like that. And then, oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, does this just come out like this? I don't know, man. Or do I got to take this off? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. Yup, there's a clip right here. See what kind of professional I am? I actually have the removal tools. Ah, uh, there it is. Professionalism. Okay, now this should just slide right off. Should. Yeah. There we go. I think, we, yeah. There we go. I think you're supposed to loosen this, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so, there you go. Slack adjuster removed. Maybe we're supposed to back it off. Don't know. Don't know, driver. Maybe I did it the hard way. But, uh, yeah. We'll find out once we get the new one. See? I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, but you just get down here and, and you do it, right? That's all there is to it. Try to figure it out. I think I was supposed to, I think I was supposed to back it off. Yeah, see? See? I don't know what I'm doing. But again, I'm doing it, right? And what sucks about these is it looks like my brakes are leaking down here, but they're not. It's from over-greasing, um, which is what this little thing here, which you can't see, is supposed to prevent. But no, my wheel seals are not leaking i can see them they're perfectly fine oh all right we're gonna go take these uh the slack adjuster and this uh what is this the shock down to the local place here and see if we can't get some new ones today depending on how much the slack adjusters are maybe i'll just replace all four of them and go from there and uh yeah, yeah, I think I was supposed to back them off. But, yeah, I think, again, depending on how much they are, I might just replace, I want to say they were like 50 or 60 bucks a piece. So, if that's the case, then uh, I'll go ahead and replace all four and replace all four shocks. And, yeah, so all the uh, the cages there, the brake chambers have, were all replaced last year, I think, or a year and a half ago. So, all right, we'll all let right, you know. So back to the fifth wheel saga, huh? Huh? Found one online. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what it does, right? See what it does. I think I showed in another video. That piece there just pops off. Got to be careful though, because you'll break these little tabs that are on there, like I did. My damn ass. But so there's these little metal clips here. You just pull on them like that on each side. Not too difficult, see? It just pops right out. Um, there you go. And this, this, this is how they're making switches now. Right? It's just a whole thing. You can't just buy one switch. So, and it's got these stupid things here. All you got to do is pull down and up, and they pop out. Uh, there's that one, and then there's this one here. 
goes to the wiring harness. There we go. And then they just come off like a regular, you just push, pull, uh, and push out, right? That's all you gotta do because, oh, well this one didn't come with it, but I'll have to figure out how to take this out because there's this bridge there. That's interesting. Yeah. So I'll have to figure that out. But we're gonna see if this was bad. I don't think it is, but maybe it is. I don't know. I mean, like one switch out of all of them were bad. Could be. I guess this is a common problem though, especially since this gets used a lot. Um, so it could be. We're gonna try it. Still giving me the same shit, man. Oh well, I don't know. I don't know. There you go. $640.27. We got four slack adjusters. All right, I'm just gonna change everything on the trailer. Four slack adjusters. Um, we got the shocks. Yeah, buddy. I forgot to go get, um, got some brake cleaner to huff on later tonight, right? I forgot to go get some, uh, the one and one eighth impact, which I need to get. And then look, check it out, man. We're gonna be badass, right? So we're gonna change those out. Uh, Miss Alice was yelling at me because she said my shit looked janky um yeah <laughs> uh-huh whatever so see i get yelled at by a popular youtuber and uh i gotta go out there and conform so ended up getting some of those which is gonna look a lot nicer and a lot better and i was gonna go change those out anyways but now that Miss Alice saw the one video and complained about it, um, yeah, she's like, Tom, don't be janky. You got a nice truck. Make sure you keep it nice. I do need to wash the damn thing though, but that will happen as soon as I get that headlight fixed. Um, I was gonna do it on the way out, but but that is getting fixed. Hopefully tomorrow it'll come in. So, so the reason I ended up staying with standard bulbs uh, is because like I said in my one video, um, I, I can change them out. You know, these are regular bulbs. I can change them. The LED ones, you gotta replace the whole headlight again. So I did it even better. Uh, and I ordered these last week, but I got to get underneath and do the damn transmission now. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. The thing with the transmission it takes two days because you got to wait for the shit to dry. Um, did I bring them out here? I didn't bring them out here, but I got LED bulbs um, for, for the headlights. So that's the reason why I ultimately went with just a new regular headlight. Um, instead of buying the two, um, uh, two new LED ones, because again, it's, if those LED go out, then I'm screwed. I got to buy a whole new light, light again for 450 bucks, $500. So I called international and, uh, down in St. George and, uh, they're 500 and like $40 for that headlight. So on eBay, they were going for 650, 670 thought ebay was supposed to be cheaper man come on but i wish i could figure out maybe i'll figure out how to polish these to make it look cool i don't know uh that way it'll match the wheel covers i gotta find out where to get some polish at but yeah so these things were only like 30 bucks for 
for these, which is actually pretty cheap considering. I think, I don't know how long, I don't know how much these are online and shit, but I, I swear they're like 50, 60 bucks. So I asked him, I'm like, hey, how much are these? He's like, they're, 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 uh, let me make sure. I think it's 40 bucks, 30 bucks. I don't know. Let me see. Oh yeah, 40 bucks. Sorry. Uh, yeah, front hubcaps. $39.99. So I won't be janky anymore. All right, we're going to get started on, I don't even know. I got to go get another. Yeah, I'm going to go, I got to go down and get a freaking impact socket. I forgot to stop and get one, but all right. All let right you we got some backyard mechanic shit going on here. Look at that. We got this, we got the brake or the shocks done. Let's see. It said something with the center of something and there is no fucking center. So it looks centered to me. Uh, Brakes are, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, adjust this shit. Um, I have to turn this fucking thing. There's a special tool for it, but whatever. So, and doing anything special, man. Directions are all complicated as shit. But brakes are released. Oh, wrong way. See? We're tightening them. So you tighten. This is back in old school day. And a quarter of a turn. Right? That's about a quarter there. And that should give you your uh, your brake clearance. Right? Ah, oh, my hair. But... If not, they're slack adjusters, right? They should they should adjust accordingly. But that should uh, be the adjustment. This is all shimmed out. That's what these are for. These are shimmy shims. I almost threw those away. So this one is the exact same as this one here, which is awesome. Because I like having the fittings below. So the other ones have the fittings up here, which are a pain in the ass to get to. Um, actually, these ones aren't too bad, but the back ones are worse. So, anyways, that's uh, that's how you do it, I guess. I'll, I'll show you guys this one, because this one here, I was kind of remembering uh, what my buddy was telling me from like two and a half years ago, or two years ago or something. Um, so, Let's do this one here. I already showed you how to take it off. I'll show you how to put it back on. Okay, so you got it off. I'm not even gonna claim this to be a tutorial video because probably not doing it right. But again, this is how I remember my mechanic showing me, but make sure to clean that spindle there where the Oh, my eyeballs. Where the, uh, ooh, that's some good shit right there. Yeah. And then, uh, it says put anti sleeves on this. So, let me go do that. Let me go get the other, let me go get the slack adjuster. I think maybe I'll put some grease in there. Right? We'll put some grease in there. Alright, so we're gonna. Move that bad boy up, huh? Let me uh, play with my shaft here. Yeah. That's pretty sexy, huh? So, I'm gonna put this in here, like, like sir. And again, I am not a... I am not a, uh, whatever you call it. I'm a YouTube mechanic, right? Okay, let's see. Come on. It's kind of difficult. It's kind of difficult. There we go. There's one. And then we're going to shove this girl in here. 
There we go. Yay! There we go. Then we're just gonna manhandle it, right? Manhandle it. And then just shove her in there like that. And that's all. That's it, because the slack adjuster is wide open right now. Give it a little tappity tappity. We're gonna put our um, washer and thingy here back on. Okay. Put our washers. I think I only need two. I think we only need two. Should be able to see or feel the freaking, the hole for the, uh, oh, maybe I only need one. Oh yeah, huffy puffy. Maybe I only need one spacer there. Yeah, looks like it. Cool, man. All right, so then we put our snap ring back on. Make sure, because I think the other side took two. I don't know. Um, that looks pretty straight from eyeballing it, which is good enough for TA mechanic, right? So now this is the important part. You want to make sure the snap ring actually goes into its hole. Because I have had these things come out. So the way that you do that, you kind of feel around while you're putting it on. Plus you can look at it and see. Now, that should be good, man. We should uh, definitely grease up this while we're here. And that should tighten should actually tighten some things here. It's getting there. So anyways, that's all there is. I'll show you it well. All right, so now we're gonna do our adjustment here. Brakes are released. Until it's tight. And we go one quarter turn. And there you go. That should be adjusted. Should be. I don't know. Tighten this back up. There's a special tool that you use for that. But anyways, I think that's it. So again, this is not professional advice. You do you. I'm just kind of showing you. Uh, I guess get out and do stuff, right? So, all right. I got uh, two more to go. We'll have all brand new slack adjusters and four brand new shocks. I have to show you that. See that? We got our shocks in there too. These are nice. Got that done. Get that one done. We'll work on the other one. I guess you don't do it right unless you get popped in the head, right? Yeah. That's a cool scar. I'm digging that one. So I remember. They changed this out last time was in the middle of the night, right? My mechanic came down and helped me change this out. Um, and I lost one of the snap rings and he put one of those cheap ass snap rings that he had on. So I'm gonna have to go down to the hardware store and get a snap ring. And uh, I'm also going to have to get some more grease because I go through grease apparently like crazy. And the shit is not cheap, right? So... 
Yeah, I didn't even realize. Um, <laughs> oh, well. Super mechanic, right? So, uh, I'm on my last slack adjuster. And like I said, I'm going to go down and get some grease and some uh, that snap ring. So, we'll let you know, show you when the everything's done. Yep, there's the mess we made. Dropping those... Uh, slack adjusters right everything went good so whatever i did must have worked and uh sorry i didn't update like i was gonna show the uh the spread unspreading tucking it back under but everything working slack adjusters are working bitching um yeah everything went together good so no major hickeys there's my new shocks there's the uh god that one got greased really really bad that one is uh yeah i'm gonna have to clean that up i don't know one of the the bushings was i think it was this one and this i probably need to get the uh what is it s cam bushings replaced again which is weird uh, because when I bought this trailer, it had bad S cam bushings. Um, don't know how those fail. Haven't looked that up yet. But uh, it's fine. They're they're good enough for now, right? Um, so might have my buddy in Vegas do it. Um, or I was thinking I could just do it myself. Uh, I'm just gonna. I really need to buy a impact to remove these. Um, to do my own tire stuff, right? So that is probably going to eventually happen. The switch in there, the fifth wheel switch, pff, didn't work. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'm actually going to, you can kind of see that to that. I got some aluminum polish and this was just uh, hand buffing it just with a rag, right? And it already looks different see that so before i put my wheel covers on i'm gonna come out here and uh polish these wheels which i've never done so should be proud of me that i'm actually taking care of my equipment besides the stupid uh truck wash that i was never able to do which is really starting to bother me uh that this thing is such a filth but again this son of a bitch here which should be rectified today, I'm hoping. Um, right now, I'm gonna go play with the Subi. It's early morning, sun just came up over the mountains over there, but yeah, we're getting some progress done, man. We're getting some shit done, but for those of you that don't know and care a little bit, I'm not gonna show any of this going on with the Subi. I got a freaking mess on my bench here. But here's my wheel covers. I don't know if I showed these. But there's my wheel covers. I think I did show them. But yeah, I got I gotta clean up my mess here before I start on the Subi. Um I don't know. I guess I can't show. But that's the valve body. Not a cheap part. Um, so, yep, that's what we're planning on doing right now. Um, like I said, I'm probably not going to show anything. I'm going to put the tire back on. I'm going to take the tire off, like I said, to go to Walmart, which took like six hours for them to do a patch. So, I think I'm done with Walmart because this is the third time that they've taken like fucking all day to patch a tire that I have taken down to them. So, all right, I'm going to get started on the Subi. I got to drain it and pull it. This will be the third time I'm pulling the valve body off of this damn thing. So, yay. Well, we're doing better and better every time we do this. I only got a little bit of a spill. Not bad. Got it all up and down my arm. Last time I had it all up in my face. 
foot. We're just letting her drain. There's the valve body. <laughs> it's not a big deal, but uh, there's the hole that it goes into. But I'm gonna drain all this out. I think I'm just gonna put brand new oil in. This is new. Um, technically, it's only probably about six to eight months old, but it's expensive shit. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Make this shit last for another hundred thousand miles. Um, so that's the shit that you gotta get for these subies. Um, but it's basically it. You got the other valve body here. Here's the new one in all of its glory. So apparently you're not supposed to change these. I, I don't I don't know. Because trying to find like Subaru doesn't sell these so-called filters that they say that their uh, transmissions do not have. Um, that is clearly a filter. But you know what? It is what it is. Here's the shifter stick i gotta make sure to get that in the right position this time because last time i did this um i got it stuck <laughs> but luckily i was able to force it into gear i guess um so yeah looks look it's bleeding it's a it's a transplant yeah so i'm gonna let that sucker drain it's amazing that there are no there's the piece that went bad. That's the uh, turbine speed sensor, I guess you can call it. But that's the piece that went bad. I guess I shouldn't be laying it on there. Um, so you can't replace it. You have to splice it, which really is stupid. Um, they should have made it to where you could replace the damn thing. But, all right. I think we're going to go have breakfast. All right, so we're going to install this thing here which is the International Door Hinge Antenna Mount. Now, again, the, you get all this cool stuff here. Uh, the International does come with uh, CB antennas, but again, I have, my antenna is, or my CB is special, right? Because I'm badass like that, but. Here's the actual mount. I got the one with the coax. I don't know if that's any good, but um, and it comes with all this mounting hardware here. Supposedly, <coughs> I'm gonna put it on the passenger side, but it goes, I uh, guess I'll lift the hood up. Let's see, oh, I think it goes, yeah, it goes right here. So it'll come here and it'll, I'm gonna have it face up, but like I said, I don't know how good that is. Because these antennas are not supposed to be, you know, back in the day, they're not supposed to be hidden or whatever. Like, it's supposed to be out in the open to get the signal out. So, I don't know how good these actually are. It works, but with my antenna, I don't want to put my antenna back there. Um, for one, it's super awesome because it glows blue when you key up and okay, that's it here but that's i got the striker sra 10 which is a badass bitch man this thing will go miles but yeah my 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 cb is badass like i said it can go out for miles and miles and miles especially with that that bad boy um so not that i use it <laughs> but anyways um so yeah i guess you got to put spacers and stuff on there and i'm probably going to have it be awesome old school whatever um so it goes out like that or yeah i guess like that and i'll have it facing out need to finish up with the Subaru and I just had breakfast so I gotta clean up the uh the actual pan here I gotta go down and get some ATF and some gasket maker for the 
transmission. I have some. I just, I figured I'd just get some new from the last time I did it. Yeah. Um, so, and it's probably dried out. I don't know. I'll just get some new. Because that's how we roll, right? That's how we roll. Get the new stuff. So let me finish this up and then I'll start on the CD mount. Just non-stop busy, busy, busy. That's how we yeah, do well, it. Not too difficult unless you have butterfingers like I do. And you keep dropping the little collars there. But yeah, not too bad. And it's like billet aluminum. So I kind of like where it's going to be facing. See what it looks like with the hood down. It's not bad at all, huh? Not bad at all. So I can go straight up or, or come out like this, which I, I'm gonna keep it like that. Cause you know, we gotta be like one of the cool truck drivers, like the hood trucks, right? Like the large cars. See if that'll tighten up here. Yeah, look at that, huh? You gotta be like the large cars. Uh, maybe I'll put it up a little bit more. That's a little too ridiculous. Maybe I'll move this up a scotch and yeah yeah because i kind of want it i don't know we'll look at it and see i don't like that that's too much of an angle straight up and out it is i think once it gets tightened yeah it's a little off but once it gets tightened it'll be nice and nice and straight hell yeah baby super trucker in it now i know this video is getting long because just got a ton to do i gotta figure out uh how to get that headlight out so whether or not i show that i don't know i guess maybe i should since it's a part it's just non-stop huh Ew. hopefully this thing will be fairly simple to to remove looks like one two three and four and then obviously the lights come off oh yeah look at that crack that i don't even know what that is but yeah it's a freaking bird man all right i guess what the heck yeah so at least that's good. Four bolts. At least they made that easy. So there will probably be lots of editing in this video. <laughs> Just to make it short. Maybe I'll cut out the... Uh, if, if I cut it out, I did the uh, valve body on the Subaru. I might cut that out or just do a very short clip. But that came out good. Um, I got to wait 24 hours to fill it because of the way that the gasket maker crap works. Um, there is no gaskets on the Subarus. They use basically gasket maker for everything on their on the vehicle. So, uh, yeah, I have to actually I need to go under there and tighten the bolts because after an hour of letting it cure tacky, um, I got to go under there and tight tighten to torque which is a uh, super mechanic terms not super tight but snug all right they don't, they don't go by torque specs what the fuck are torque specs good for just to make you feel good huh it's like that warranty it's a warranty it makes you feel good um all right let me go underneath this bitch all right we got all cleaned up uh, yeah, and uh, I'm going to upload this tonight, so you guys will have a video for tomorrow, which is Thursday, um, and the only other thing that I have to do is uh, this sucker right here, uh, and that'll be completed, so I got the antenna all nice, and there we go. All nice and straight on there. Now I'm super trucker. I ran the wire. You can't even see it. Um, so it's pretty, pretty.
pretty good professionalism right there. I need to do the same thing for the other wires that are in there. They've just been lazy or no time or I don't know, but uh, there she is. I got the name coming out for her. I don't know, man. Um, I wanna get it all cleaned up. There's that sun, the sun got me. I wanna get it all cleaned up, get the lights on um, so I can do like some shots, uh, have the LED bulbs, yeah, have the LED bulbs in there so it looks cool. Um, so hopefully within, I'm guessing, cause I wanna clean up inside. I wanna put all the wires away. I wanna show, you know, how everything's set up and how it's nice and clean. And um, yeah, so I'm hoping, hopefully in the next week or so, we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna end this one here. I'll show you the headlight on the next one and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, later.